Welcome everyone, in today's video we're going to complete the two parts of the hunting request side mission A Better World, A New Friend, Part 1 and 2 A mandatory spoiler warning for the people that haven't completed chapter 6 just yet The first part can be triggered at various train stations and post office around the map In Valentine, for example, on a wall you can find a poster to inspect. Reading it will trigger the side mission. Note that it can be started at any point from chapter 2, but the fifth and last request is only available to be completed in the epilogue. For most of those hunts, you will need some small game arrows, as well as the varmint rifle. You should also get the bot antler trinket, which gives you a better chance to collect a perfect belt if you take a small game like a bird with a varmint rifle instead of a small game arrow, for example. The first request will have you hunt a rabbit and a squirrel. Both are easily found everywhere around the map. For the rabbit, just find a 3 star one running around by stopping it using your vomit rifle. On steel, do not stain it. Just throw it on your horse, as the request requires carcasses and not pelts. For the squirrel, using a small damn arrow will do the trick nicely once you spotted one. Then, all you need to do is go to the nearest post office to send out the carcasses. Note that you don't need to take out the rabbit from your horse before going to the post office. It will automatically be sent out. After roughly one in-game day, you should receive a notification to visit the post office again. You will then receive 50 bots for your effort as well as the next request. This time, you will need to acquire a perfect cardinal, a perfect rat, and a perfect woodpecker. First up, we're going to Limpani, just west of Oshu Overlook. There you can easily find some rats growing around, especially if you see a net on the map indicating a dead body. You can also find plenty of rats near Bulger Glade. The best way to kill a perfect rat would be with a small damn arrow. Not far along the Dakota River is where you will find plenty of small birds, including the Cardinal. A tip here would be to get any small bird that are 3 stars as they may be used for upcoming requests, like a robin, songbird, woodpecker or blue jay. Refer to the list in the description of the video to get all the ones you need. Another location for woodpeckers would be west of Rhodes at Radley's Pasture. There, going around, you should see plenty of birds flying above and some are woodpeckers. They normally fly solo and the open area makes it easy to track them down on horseback. Once you got the three carcasses, all you need to do is go to the post office once again to send them over. After one in game day, you will receive a payment of 70 bots, as well as the next request. This time, you will need to get a cheap mount and an opossum, an oriole and a robin. You can find opossums practically everywhere around the maps. A good spot would be in the heartlands. Just roaming around during night time, you can spot them easily when you hear their distinctive stretch. They are most of the time playing possum if you go close enough to them, so you should be able to get an easy kill using the varmint rifle. Going to Bulger Lead, sort of road, is where we will find plenty of chipmunks. You can find a high ground or from horseback and just look around with your binocular until you can spot a chipmunk. Using a small damn arrow, you then can just get one. In Beat Valley, the open area surrounded by the woodland is another good spot to find and hunt small birds. You should find some watswing, sparrows and orioles quite easily. Orioles tend to fly in groups, so don't hesitate to take down more than one perfect one, especially if you're hunting with a varmint rifle to increase your chances of collecting a pristine condition one. Another good spot for robins are around Fort Brennan, just west of Van Horn. 
Just go in a round of four on your horse. You should be able to spot one flying away, as well as some blue jays and other songbirds. Then all you need to do is send over the carcass from the post office. After one Indian day, you should receive a payment of 100 bucks and your next request. The final one that you can do prior to the epilogue. For this one, you will have to acquire a songbird, a sparrow, a toad, a bullfrog, as well as a skunk. Going to the area near Copperhead Landing, you should easily find some bullfrogs hopping around that you can shoot with a small damn arrow for a perfect carcass. Not far away in the bayous, if you just go around the area, you should also be able to acquire a toad quite easily. Next stop, we're going along the Dakota River for some bird hunting. Running on the banks of the river and looking up at the birds, you should at some point find some sparrows that you can take down. You can also easily find some songbirds in that area too. Going to Big Valley near the Trapper is one of many locations where you can find some stones. They spawn pretty regularly around the map and most often at night time. Once again, don't stain it, just throw it on your horse. Then all you need to do is send them all over from the post office. Once in the epilogue, or after one in them day if you're completing all of them at that time, you should receive 120 bucks and a final request. For this one, you'll have to get a set of Watswin, a Blue Jay, a Crow, a Bat and a Beaver. Going along the Dakota River, perch on rocks and dead trees along the river, you should easily identify some Blue Jays to hunt down. They are solitary birds, so they won't be in groups. And another good spot for Blue Jays is also at Fort Brennan, west of Van Horn. In Bid Valley, along Little Creek River, you should easily find some groups of Cedar Watswing flying across. They are also easily found in the heartlands if you're nearby. Just shoot in a bunch of 3 star ones. If the Varmate is your weapon of choice, will give you good chances to still collect one of pristine condition. On the banks of Owengila Lakes is where you can easily find some beavers minding their own business. Despite their size, a headshot with a vomit rifle will do the trick quite nicely. Once again, don't stain it, you will need to mail the whole carcass. Between Owenjila Lake and Little Creek River in Bid Valley is where you can find some crows. Most of the time on the trail itself, or just on the side. If you go relatively slowly, you should be able to aim at them before they fly away. 
another good spot for crows, is also in bolted lead. Try to shoot them with a small damn arrow for a perfect carcass. Finally, we go into Elysian Pool, just west of Annisburg. Entering the cavern, you should hear and see plenty of bats flying around. Just shoot some pristine one to collect them, and you're done. You can also find some bats flying around at night at Bulger Glades, but from experience, there are not a lot of tree star ones over there. Then all you need to do is go to the post office to send them all over. After one in them day, you will receive your 150 bots payment, as well as an invitation to visit Miss Holmes. You can find Miss Holmes' cabin northeast of Strawberry, not far off the town center. She will give you a final reward, a squirrel statue, and this will conclude the mission, a better world, a new friend. Going to Beecher's Hope, you ranch in the Great Plains, all you need to do is go inside your house. You can display the statue on the chimney mantel and trigger the second part of the mission, a better world, a new friend. Note that you might only be able to see that mission pop up once you finish all the story missions. This mission is quite simple and goes into a cycle where someone removes the beautiful art squirrel from the mantle and hides it somewhere in roughly every one in game day. You just need to find it and place it back to the chimney each time you get it. The first time Mr. Squirrel disappears, you can find it in the master bedroom, in the chest behind the door. All you need to do is pick it up and place it back where it truly belongs, even under the judgmental eye of a big girl. A certain time the squirrel disappears, you can find it once again in the master bedroom. But this time, you'll have to check the chimney there. Luckily intact, and it's first still looking pristine, you can once again display it for all to admire in the living room. The third time, you'll have to go to Uncle's room to find Mr. Squirrel. In the kitchen, take a left and climb the ladder to its den. In the chest at the foot of Uncle's bed is where you will find the statue, ready once again to be shown off in the main room. The fourth time, the squirrel will be hidden further away, outside the house. You'll have to go to the small ship pen near the horse corral. In a small cart along the building is where you'll find the statue. And so then, all you need to do is to go back to the house and place it back on the mantle. The fifth time Mr. Squirrel escaped, it will once again be at the barn. This time, in a chest in the loft area that you can access by the ladder nearby. You know what to do from there, just dead it and place it back to the mantle.
The last time the statue disappears, be ready for a threat, because it went quite far away to Mount Shang. Onside the summit, follow the edge carefully to the top and grab it. And there you go, you'll get the It's Hard achievement. The final and optional step is once again to put Mr. Squirrel in full display on top of the chimney. I hope this video has been useful, and until next time, see ya!